All right, here we go. We're going into Monday of Wild Card, what we like to call the Warner Bowl. Uh, see, I got represented behind me, both the Rams and the Cardinals, uh, two main teams that I played at in my career and excited about this game. I think this is one of those games of the weekend that you say to yourself, man, this is the best matchup uh, in terms of who could win this football game. They split throughout the year, some definitive factors that played into uh, the wins for both teams or the wins and losses for both of these teams. And so we're gonna take a look at each team individually and specifically uh, as always, gonna look at their quarterbacks because I believe how these two quarterbacks play maybe more than any other game will dictate who wins this football game. Let's start with Matthew Stafford. All right, we're gonna talk a lot about the legs of Kyler Murray when we get to that one. But really, one of the keys in these two matchups is where a lot of the big plays were made, uh, where the opportunities were presented for the Rams was when Matthew Stafford got out of the pocket. And of course, a lot of it's going to be off the play action. That's what Sean McVay is as good at as anybody in the league is creating big opportunities down the play, down the field off of play action. So right here, you got your main man, Cooper Cup. He's gonna go here and he's gonna run the corner route, gonna come back make sure this corner engages with Cooper Cup. And then we are going to run across the field and try to create a double move with everybody else coming up to the line of scrimmage and get our big play opportunity that way, throwing back across the field because Matthew Stafford has the arm to do it. So he gets the corner to bite and he's got an opportunity right here. He's got all this space over here. Now ball's just a little bit late maybe a little bit back to the inside, but you see the opportunity right there. That's an opportunity for a game-changing play, which they needed in this first game because the Cardinals came out hot, scored 21 points right off the bat, uh, and the Rams just weren't quite able to match. You see right there, ball's just a little bit short behind him, and a nice play by Byron Murphy to go get the interception there. Same thing in the first game. We're going to run a little naked bootleg here. See, so he comes out, you see, not a lot happening. Good coverage right here, we come down, we're covered here, we're double teamed right here. But again, Matthew Stafford, good enough athlete, buy some time, buy some time, wait for your guy to separate, makes a nice throw back in the end zone right there to Van Jefferson, who's going to have to be huge in this game. Obviously, we know no Robert Woods, uh, but OBJ's there now as well. Here we go again, a little play action. Let's get outside, okay? We're trying to make it look here, and then we're gonna go back here to this deep corner, get our flat out here, and we're gonna come here, and it's gonna be a nice job, again, by Matthew Stafford. Get him out in space, get him out in space. Let him use his athleticism and his big arm. Boom, nice throw. Looks like we're trying to get over to the corner. We got coverage right here, so let's put it on the back shoulder. Really well done by Matthew Stafford. He's got that big arm. He's got good mobility out there, throws really well on the run. So that's something to keep an eye on in this game. So now we go to game two, the game that the Rams ended up winning. What are we gonna do? A little play action. Gonna do a similar type concept. Instead of Cooper Cup who went back here and then get the double move. Now we're gonna send OBJ on a crosser. We're gonna get that free safety to bite just enough. When we do that, and once again, you see it, out on the edge, I mean, from the backside 40, I mean, it is a big time throw, backside 40, it's almost the goal line, you got a 60 yard throw, moving off to your left, as I said, not many guys can do that, but Sean McVay does a great job of designing those things, Matthew Stafford does a great job of throwing those plays, he's got the big arm, he can roll one direction and throw it back the other direction, here we go once again, play action, okay, now, We've got this right here with OBJ. Now we got Cooper Cup. He's going to lean because we've got this play where we run a hitch, we run a corner, and we run a crosser off the play action or off the naked. Now we're going to lean back to the corner. Now I'm going to separate back to the other side. Going to be really, really important for the Cardinals defenders to stay at home. We got man-to-man -man coverage right here. And again, what a great throw. I mean, this stuff is ridiculous. Like, I mean, the distance of the throw, Again, we're from about our own 25 yard line and we're gonna land it on the other 35, 30 yard line. But look at this, tight coverage right here to throw that kind of ball over the top where his guy can, I mean, it's, 
just doesn't get any better than that. And so when Matthew Stafford is playing that way and you're giving him those easy opportunities to step into the throws and make those big plays down the field, that's when he's really, really special. So keep an eye on him off of the play action that when they get him out in space. And then it's going to be critical situations in third down. You're going to see, this is what the Cardinals call their NASCAR package. They're bringing everybody up to the line of scrimmage and they'll overload you with blitzes or there'll be times where they bring everybody up and then all of a sudden guys are falling out. But they do this in third down situations and third in a little bit longer situations where you can't just hand the ball off and run against them. So here they are. Looks like they're coming. They're going to end up only bringing five guys right here. We got man to man on the back there, so he might add on, but playing two man behind it, two high safeties, okay? Man to man underneath, toughest coverage to throw against, plus the pressure, getting guys on edges. Matthew Stafford, great job right here, wants to throw this corner, doesn't happen quite quick enough with the pressure. Comes back here, OBJ does a great job of separating against bad leverage on the big end and a huge, huge conversion. You'll see it again, everybody walking up. You gotta make sure you're squared away protection wise, step up. Look at this throw, guy in his face, two guys in his face, boom, great throw on the money by Matthew Stafford. Huge, huge key in this second game. So here they come again, third down. They're all walked up here, okay? Last one was two man. This sure looks like what we call blitz zero. Like, again, they can pop anybody out that they want, which is what makes it so hard right here. Love what the Rams do and moving their back up here because he's gonna block the A-gap guy. If you do it from back here in the backfield, gives this guy a running start and more pressure on your quarterback. The Rams, yes, tells you that you're gonna throw the football, but he's gonna step up here and try to stone this right here. But even with that, there's going to be an extra guy coming free, so you gotta have a quick hitter, gotta make quick decisions as a quarterback. Here they are in the red zone. Good job actually picking up most of the pressure because somebody falls off and their guard takes two, but quick little stick right there, back to the inside, because I love this, right? Playing a little combo coverage. He goes inside, he's gotta go inside. Cooper Cup does a great job of setting his guy off of this corner route, boom and he breaks back underneath. Matthew Stafford sees it, gets the ball out quick. Nice play into the red zone, setting up a touchdown. Okay, here's one more. Look at it. Okay, one more look at it. They got guys stacked up there, running back to two man again, but getting guys on edges, and here it is. You got two man on the back end. No separation, no separation. Two guys in the same spot. Nothing out here with the safety help over the top. Nowhere for Matthew Stafford to go, and Always tough with those edges. He gets some quick pressure. He's got to hold the football and takes a sack right there. So that'll be a key component to this game is that third down pressure NASCAR package by the Cardinals and who wins that battle. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is you can't miss the big play opportunities in this game. Got to be able to hit these big play opportunities. So as you come over here, they've got a little double move right here with Cooper Cup, okay? But when we see this quarter's coverage and we've got a post going, all we really wanna look for is this safety. If this safety comes down and engages, even though they're running a double move with, with Cooper Cup, once he engages Cooper Cup, man, there's where the big throw is. Right there, you'll see Matthew steps up. There's the throw. You got one-on-one, -on -one, lay it out there, let your guy go one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe you feel like this guy's too high, but that's tight coverage. Maybe come back to your big end, but instead of taking that shot to the post, trying to fit it in there to Cooper Cup and good coverage right there, miss an opportunity for a big play. We go again, little fake bubble screen, and then go, and then go. Okay, so Matthew gets caught inside where there's two defenders right there get to that big throw on the outside. So he gets caught inside his coverage. There's the throw, one to two. Another big opportunity right here. Has to check it down. They don't complete it right there. Miss an opportunity for a big play. They're gonna need those big plays in this game. And here's one more. Cooper Cup is main man right here. 
Just running a seam. Seam comes off of this free safety. Hold him on the backside hash. Nice move there by Cooper Cup. Just see Cooper Cup just leans out a little bit. Matt expects him to be a little bit tighter and miss an opportunity right there for a possible touchdown just because of a little miscommunication. So you saw that a number of times in this matchup. So from the Rams offensive perspective, something to keep an eye on in that game on Monday night is Matthew Stafford getting out of the pocket. Whether it's the Nakeds, they love to keep de defenses off balance, running the football and the naked bootlegs, and then where they like to get their big plays, maybe a little bit differently this year than they did in past years. But when Jared Goff was there, a lot of their big plays came off the play action. Matthew Stafford gives them unbelievable possibilities with his arm when he gets out of the pocket and he has time and has the ability to make those big throws down the field. So keep your eye on the design play actions and who wins that battle. Do the Rams, they come out of that and are they able to get those big plays which they did in the second game which led to their victory or do the Cardinals do a better job with that and then always keeping an eye on third down package. Cardinals love to bring exotic blitzes out of that NASCAR package. They, it's feast or famine a lot of times. Going blitz zero on the back end, if you can beat them, you can get big plays. Other times they get free runners coming at you and easy sacks on the quarterbacks. So those were a couple things to pay attention to because we know it's gonna be about Matthew Stafford. They brought him here to win in these moments. He's got all kinds of ability and talent and, and uh, you know that, that it factor to make those huge plays at big moments. They're gonna need those against a tough division opponent in the Arizona Cardinals.